So now we have two Queen Wiki Wikis. So use your heavy freelance character, go into miscellany, click body slam, and take them out. Booyah! Hello, you fine looking individuals, and welcome to another Poke Boogie video. I'm gonna show you how to make your job classes legendary in seconds. If you wanna know more on how to break Bravely Default 2, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I got a surprise just for you. Let's get into it. The first thing we want to do for this strategy is to farm Monstrous Medley. Can be used to lure monsters of all families into continuous battles. We're gonna use this to make our classes legendary. To farm Monstrous Medley, you wanna be in the graveyard area south of Rhymedal. We're gonna be farming this from a giant worm, but this monster is pretty powerful, so be careful. If you want tips on how to farm this safely, I made a video just for you, and the link's in the description. Let's do this. There we go. Now that we have all the monster medals we need, we need to go to a specific town. I'm going to avoid spoilers, so I'm not going to show you what the town is. But the outside of the town looks like this. To make this strategy work most efficiently, we're going to need to at least to have Freelancer mastered or level 12. At level 9, you get JP up. JP earned is increased by a multiple of 1.2. At level 12, you get JP up and up. JP earned is increased by a multiple of 1.5. And just to hammer it home, increases to 1.7 when combined with JP up and up. 1.7, that's almost double the amount of JP. Woo, at that point, they're just handing you free JP. And for maximum efficiency, you want to make sure you use Brave Bearers Obliterate. Any enemy 20 or more levels below the user is instantly killed at the beginning of battle. Makes battles like literally nothing. It's like the game plays itself. Huh. Still really efficient. Once inside this dungeon, head to items, monster treats, select monstrous medley, and activate it you are now more likely to fight continuous battles against all types of monster. So now, you're just irresistible, so nothing's changed. Start a battle. Ooh, Queen Wiki Wikis, they provide a lot of AP. And down goes Queen Wiki Wiki. 1634, that's actually a low haul. Let's keep farming. Two Queen Wiki Wikis, oh, here we go. Over. If you notice my red major is at 12 or mastered it went from mastered to legendary in one fight and that was less than a minute i know some of you are probably thinking boogie boogie i don't have brave bearer don't worry i got you covered for those who don't have the brave bearer job class yet what you want to use is indiscriminate rage allows regular attacks to target all enemies at full power but causes the user's next turn to come around much later if the whole party's using indiscriminate rage they'll be down. I personally like to add Beast Whisperer, roughly 30% chance of capturing defeated monsters to strengthen up Beast Master class. And of course, JP up and JP up and up. The next part of this alternate strategy is to take down the Queen Wiki Wikis. If your characters are heavy enough, if you use Body Slam, deal physical damage to a target based on the user's encumbrance and delay the target's turn. So if your character has heavy equipment, you'll take out those Queen Wiki Wikis in one shot. Then same as usual, head to items, monster treats, select monstrous medley, and now you're just irresistible. So now we have two Queen Wiki Wikis, so use your heavy freelance character, go into miscellany, click body slam, and take them out. Booyah! So that took a little longer, but my main character's vanguard was at level 12 or mastered and went to legendary in one fight. Also, Elvis was a level one brave bearer, now is level 11. And if you're thinking, hey, Poogie Boogie, I'm not that far in the game yet, don't worry, I got you covered too. If you're in Rhymedal and able to get the monstrous medleys, head over to this dungeon right here. In this dungeon, you wanna go into an area where there's a lot of enemies. I personally like this area. You can kind of see it with the two chests over there. Same setup as before, JP up, JP up and up, Beast Whisperer, and Indiscriminate Rage. Go into items, monster treats, and activate Monstrous Medley. You are now more likely to fight continuous battles against all types of monster, because you're simply irresistible. And before we encounter them, we want to make sure we at least get two enemies. Got four. That's why I like this area. We got Wiki Wikis, you know what to do with them, right? Heaviest character, Body Slam. Booyah, booyah. As you can see, even with mastered classes, we're pretty far along level 14. We're almost legendary. And with Elvis, he started with level one Brave Bearer. He's now level nine. And that's with one fight. That's not bad. Here comes your bonus. In a previous video, I show you how to get broken weapons. And yes, those weapons are broken. But did you know they're even more broken weapons? These things are on another level. And I'm gonna show you where to get them. But not only weapons, you can also farm giant JP orbs. They have 3,000 JP when used. 
That's incredible. So if you have JP up and JP up and up as abilities on those characters, use a giant JP orb on said character with those abilities. You go from a level 12 mastered class to legendary instantly. But you're probably wondering, what about a class that's at level one? Well, here we have Elvis, who's a brave bearer level one. Let's see what happens. One and I'm halfway through level 10. Second one, most of the way through 13. One more legendary in three orbs it's another way of getting legendary seconds by farming these things in halcyonia there's a pearl right here you can farm this dagger this spear this bow and this staff in savalon there's a second portal where you can farm this sword this axe and this axe in wiswald there's a third portal where you can farm this spear effective when equipped dragoon passive abilities this bow effective when equipped Oracle passive abilities. This staff, effective when equipped. Spirit Master, passive abilities. In Rhymedall, this fourth portal, you can farm this dagger, effective when equipped. Phantom passive abilities. This sword, effective when equipped. Hellblade passive abilities. And also, Genji gloves. Also in Rhymedall, this fifth portal. And here you can farm this axe with Berserker passive abilities. This staff, with passive Pictomancer abilities. This staff, with passive Arcanist abilities. In Holograd, there's this sixth portal. Here you can farm this sword with Vanguard passive abilities, this sword with passive Red Mage abilities, this bow with passive Ranger abilities, and this staff with passive White Mage abilities. And behind Halcyonia, there's this 8th portal. Here you can farm this spear with passive Bastion abilities, this shield with double default, this staff with passive Black Mage abilities, and this sword with passive Brave Bear abilities. These portals aren't easy, they come with a lot of challenges. You want some help conquering them? Click that video right here. If you have any more strategies on farming JP, comment down below. I want the community to know. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Or if there's anything else you want to know about Bravely Default 2, comment down below. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.